Hey YouTubers, <clears throat> I wanted to speak to the uh, the topic of the wealth tax and the continual mantra we hear from the libs that what we need to fund all of their Santa Claus wish lists is a wealth tax. The phrase uh, paying their fair share, I mean it's just ad nauseum. Now, I, you know, as we look at this, a uh, little herd of Democrat uh, presidential hopefuls, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, Bernie Sanders, <clears throat> and a whole host of others, and they're all basically saying the same thing, that uh, they're going to give freebies, and the rich are going to pay for it. Santa Claus clones. Uh, it, it's sickening. And it, you know, it just, it, it demonstrates a total lack of common sense. Let me give you some facts here. The top 1%, the top 1% wealthiest Americans are paying 37% of the total uh, tax bill. 37%. The top 1% of wealthy Americans are paying more in taxes than the bottom 90%. Uh, you know, th these things should start to sink in after a while. What do you want? Do you want it all? Do you want all of their wealth? Uh, you know, it comes down to this is just greed and covetousness. That's all it is. You're wanting something that doesn't belong to you. you spend your whole life uh, feeling cheated that somebody's got money and you don't. Well, that's, that is life. That's the way it goes. Mayor de Blasio of New York City recently made a statement. He said, there's plenty of money in the United States. It just happens to be in the hands of the wrong people. I mean, that's sickening. That is absolutely sickening. And the thing is that a lot of these Dems who spout this nonsense are wealthy themselves and are not paying their fair share. And, you know, anybody paid any attention to the last presidential um, campaigns, Bernie Sanders is paying a paltry like 13%. The guy's a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Made a lot of money out of the uh, election as well. They are good at talking this fair share game and, you know, let's soak the rich, except when it comes to me. Sick. It's sick. Our country is sick. And I just wanted to share uh, some thoughts with you. Even the most outrageously... Uh, aggressive tax-wise social countries like Denmark and Sweden have already uh, abandoned the wealth tax. In fact, there are nine European countries that have abandoned the wealth tax simply because it doesn't work. And here's why it doesn't work. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Let me give you the example of France. 513 wealthy households have left the country every year for the last 35 years. Why? Because they're escaping, they were escaping just oppressive wealth tax. And what happened when those 513 wealthy households every year are left for 35 years is, they, is this country of France lost $175 billion in assets and their unemployment rate went up 2% just because of that. Sweden. Those geniuses started a wealth tax and they raised a whopping $500 million in revenues with their wealth tax, but they lost $166 billion from the capital that was leaving the country. Nice little trade-off there. Five, $500 million for $166 billion. Same thing's going on in California. People are leaving by the droves. Another state, the most uh, 
the state with the highest rate of people leaving New Jersey. Same story. Excessive, outrageous taxation. The government, uh, they, don't, they don't need more of our money. They don't, certainly don't need more of the rich money because everything that the government does is done poorly. The war on terror, it continues. The great society didn't solve poverty. The war on drugs hasn't worked. They spent $2 billion, for Pete's sake, on a broken Obamacare website. They couldn't even get that thing running. You remember that fiasco? Obamacare is not working. It's, it's not sustainable. Yeah, that's the answer. Let's take the money from the rich and give it to the government and let them you know, fritter it away. The truth of the matter is, is that over 70% of the jobs in this country are created by small businesses. And who starts small businesses? Wealthy people. And I've worked over 50 years of my life in various jobs. I'm very thankful for the wealthy people who started companies that employed me. I don't, I don't lay awake at night thinking it's not fair. They had money and I didn't. I'm very thankful that people started companies that hired me. You know, until common sense begins to make a return to this country, until enough millennials start figuring out that uh, the world doesn't owe you anything, doesn't owe you your uh, college bills to be paid off, doesn't owe you an automatic guaranteed job, doesn't owe you a uh, jack squat. Life is hard, and then you die. In the meantime, you're going to work, hopefully. Um, you know, it's not about soaking the rich. It's about leaving them alone and letting them do their thing in this country, which is create more wealth and create more jobs. Hey, that's about all I've got today. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe this video and comment as well. Thank you.